Hello everybody, Glitch Trooper here. I'm back for some more crazy Minecraft, and the thing is, it seems like Jazahar has uh, somehow mysteriously uh, presented himself for a split second in this world because he, he, he wants me to have a rematch. So he, he agrees with my assessment that I totally needed a rematch. Because it, 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 I, I got robbed. <laughs> and especially when now I have a better strategy with my hammer that should probably help out. And I, I do have a link to the location, so it's not like I have to worry about it too much. But, uh, I think he's starting to get a little yada 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 about his title. For rematch purposes only, Jazahar, Gatekeeper, etc. Yeah, I think he's gotten a little yada 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 about his title. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, it, it's not like I'm gonna debate him on that. Okay. And now I get the achievement. What is it with achievements liking to reset in this version? I mean, I know it took them a while to stabilize it, but it's just a little ridiculous sometimes. Like, like seriously? <laughs> uh, like, I, I don't even know what all I have to redo. It's 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 confusing. I know I've done stuff, so maybe I shouldn't worry about that and just do, do what I uh, do what I do. Anyhow, okay, let's. Uh, Okay, you're definitely coming with me, obviously. Okay, now I need to uh, zip down to Anu Anu's palace, which it says Anu Place, but remember, I just couldn't fit that many figures. It, it just doesn't like it. So let's zip back to there, and I should show up in Anu's throne room. I think that's where I set this at should also be able to comfortably shapeshift again whenever I get over there. Without too much, uh... Whoa. Uh... I spoke too soon. I was gonna say interference, because I didn't remember them still being mad at me, but apparently they were. Fair enough. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to eat up before I do this. Because this, this is going to be a thing. Okay, nightmare form, because he does fly around. Now, something I need to remember before I do this is reset Mjolnir's function to mining so I can throw it. Because whenever I do that, I will smash any blocks in my way if he gets stuck in a wall. So this time, I'm not letting that happen. I, I, it, I mean, sure, it might happen, but I'm prepared at least. Okay. Anu, let's do this again. Because I am ready to go to your special location that can only be accessed if I, if I deal with your body, so... <laughs> this is, is not futile. However, not hitting my own minion is because he loves being hit. He's already got into flying form. I just about. Can I reflect shots at you? That answers my question. Oh no. Forgot that that feature auto locks. Did I? Yeah. Thank you for having spite on this sword. Just drop you like a brick. Yeah, this is why I need Mjolnir at this stage. <laughs> Hit him in the face like that. Blech. Your elite guards are nothing compared to my elite sword. Okay, it says no, so therefore I must say yes. Okay, let everything out so I can get that bare hand. Yes! Just had to make sure. I probably should have thrown out the nuggets first, but I had to move fast. My carrots will still be there unless I accidentally threw them in a lava pool, but I can always make more golden carrots. I have an unlimited supply of gold and carrots. I, I'm good. <laughs> so... If, I, if I'm going where I should be, that's a fair trade. 
Man, this place has a fancy portal. Kind of. It's just like a blue version of the nether portal that I'm looking at. But still, I got to my prizes. And, oh yeah, I did kind of smash the area super hard for Obsidian. Winds Wrath 1, Looting 1, Pretzel. Well, while I'm here, I might as well uh, upgrade my blade. So, oh no, oh no, I need to, uh oh. Um, didn't think of that. Oh. Oh dear. That old bug. Uh, historical glitches 101. Uh, the thing is, whenever you go through portals in some versions of the game, especially modded ones, they tend to temporarily make your experience inaccessible until you get more experience. So, I can't actually throw out my uh, slash blade right now, because it has to be considered re uh, repaired enough be able to do so, and I must have used up a good chunk of its durability without noticing. So, there is that. This also means I have two of these ancient keys. And I can throw some of the extra stuff in here for now. I will get to upgrade you later. This is a really fancy chest. Very old, antique, but tasteful, and has like a bronze... Uh, like a, like, like a bronze, uh, clasp there, or, or, oh, I guess I have to use the key. Uh, <laughs> that would make sense. It doesn't actually use it up in survival, it, it just fits on. Most dramatic opening. Hello? Can I, like, get the component that I was here for? Are you just so not ready in this version that you're literally just stand-in chest? Oh. Maybe it was glitched and didn't do it all the way? Because now... It threw it at me! Oh, I get it! I get why! You can reface Anu, and because you can do that, that means you could get one for, like, each player of this ancient clock. So to do that, you get your new key every time you face him. You come here, this one will give you a new one every time in exchange for the key, but for some odd reason it temporarily glitched and didn't actually give it to me, but then it didn't take the key away, but whenever it actually took the key away, it actually gave me the clock. But yeah, this ancient clock is something that is supposed to be work in progress at this time. Uh, I think the most modern versions you can craft what you're supposed to craft with it, but it still doesn't have its function. This is supposed to be part of the mechanism to a time machine. Yeah, in the future, fossils and archaeology will be able to go back to the past and uh, visit the dinosaurs a little more directly <laughs> without having to make them. Now, I did actually do a little uh, uh, fossiling uh, in between episodes. I was going to see if I could get a Packy to fight him with, but I did not get the Packy, so I have not raised a Packy yet. I'd like to raise a Packy, because I've assessed that they have the highest damage out of all the easy-to-tame dinosaurs. It's like 18 points, and they can ram something repetitively with high knockback. They're, they're literally a, a, a living battering ram, and that's always how Packy Cephalosaurus was, so that's accurate. Whoa. Oh, Nephobia! Eight-legged terrors! <laughs> you see, this is why I grouped him as a nether boss. <laughs> because that is a nether portal. That is not a portal that goes back to the room, which uh, is, is kind of the name of that very special spot. And wait, did it... what happened? What? Oh, is that a... is that a bug? Like a literal bug? That it's not showing up on my. Why is it? Why is this bug not showing up on my? Why can I s not scan you? I scan him. I scan this this bird, which should be saying never more right about now. But I can't scan the bug. Is its hitbox literally so small? Oh, okay, there it says fly. I was gonna say, is it hit? Is its hitbox so small that it's almost impossible to scan? It's also appropriate arachnophobia uh, happened right before some things of which they'd eat showed up. So, yeah, that, that was fascinating. Okay, I need to remember first to 
demorph before I, 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 I transport myself. Because I remember that Mjolnir does not like morphs. <laughs> I, I don't know why, it, j it just is. But let's face it, that, that, was, that was a long time coming. Okay. Yes, caw, caw. Uh, oh, more fossils. Uh, maybe I should mine a few while I'm at it. Maybe I'll get lucky again. Or at least get something to help out. Of course, what I really should do is try to... Oh, yeah, that's right. Hopping. Well, I got a biofossil, so maybe I got a chance at a packy. Okay, is there any more I can just see casually here before I teleport? And how close am I to home? So if I'm really close to home, I won't bother teleporting and will just fly. Or walk, or whatever. You know, maybe I'll get on my shade and have a ride. Because that would be totally fair. Okay, I know where I am. I know right where I am because there is one of the bases. If I remember correctly, that's Sigma base. Because, yeah, yeah, it's the one I keep abusing for using rituals and stuff. <laughs> Although I have, have like, my uh, setup for my actual big rituals at Omega because, well, it has some nice greenery next to it compared to this one, so it's good for power. Uh, this one's good for casual crushing, so, yeah. And I, I know that where I am, so therefore, I will instead... Uh, nope, that's right, the setup was a little different back then. Well, said I might have a ride. Okay, let me see here. Uh, let's see, if memory serves me, I need to... Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. So I, sh I should kind of go this way -ish, I think. Nope, nope, I go the other way. That's right, I go this way. I'm just trying to run there casually because I can. And kind of to at least have a moment where I can uh, not teleport all the way, but just, you know, ha have a casual run in. Also, I might, along the way, find something else to deal with. Not sure about that, but we'll see. So, right now we're just couriers. We're, we're taking my precious cargo home. Okay, Shadrach. Good run, good run. Wish that, uh, very much that, uh, name tags could work on you permanently in this version, but that's, that, that, that's not in this world, sorry. So, uh, uh, other world, not this one. But we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Lots of birds. Ah, uh, the great guide trees. At least I think that's my guide tree. Yeah, it's my guide tree. Shadrach, you're so fast, you can just outrun everything. You, you don't even have to worry. <laughs> I, uh, I cannot avoid Chocobo feathers. Like, literally. I, I literally did not want to even bother, and guess what? I still got a Chocobo feather. I have plenty already. Please. I have a ton. Like, literal. Literal tons of Chocobo feathers. I, I have plenty. <laughs> I, I'm not in need of Chocobo feathers. <laughs> yeah, you can see that he has interesting uh, catchphrases along the way. <sighs> I've had quite a day, Bula. I, I, I fought Anu, the Lord of the Undead, again. I got a piece of a time machine that I unfortunately cannot fully assemble. Uh, I had to run back with Shadrach. Remember him? Uh, he's fine. Uh, otherwise, things are going okay. So, let me let me see here my progress of the village. Because we are trying to reestablish it after stuff happened. Uh, so, I, I, can, I can see where I am in terms of having enough uh, people here. Whoop. That was supposed to be occupied. Uh, I mean, I gotta have some wind down after beating a boss. Moral, okay. Moral, moral, okay. We have have you here. Uh, where we got Lori? Leslie? Oh, yeah, you, you two are together there, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, still need... I think Robbie's over here. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, th the plan is going fine. I just need to keep at it. Gary? Lynn? Okay, okay. I think I know who I'm on. For the next few. Okay, let's see here. Nobody over this way? We do have guards, so our population is high enough now to consider us a town again because they are fully showing up at... Really, your name is Annis. You do know that your name is remarkably similar to the Lord of the Undead that I just swiped his time device from. Um, just saying. <laughs> uh, not gonna, not gonna say it's too much of a bad thing, uh, but it, it, it kind of is a little weird. Jeremiah. Oh, we have more kids around here. Who's yours? Who are your parents? Robbie and Meredith. Okay. So Robbie, Robbie found himself a, a, a lady. That's nice. Which one's Meredith? Oh! You're with a guard now! Cool! So, so, so you're making sure to uh, help out with the town defense. Okay. That's good. Okay, and that guy's continuing on. Uh, yeah, I think we're at that time again as we gradually repopulate the, uh, this whole village, but uh, not entirely on our own. We, we have plenty of assistance now, but we're getting there. And um... Oh. Hi. Okay, it, it just one of my, uh, my covenant. We're good. It's a boy! Okay, let me, let me think here. Uh... Ah, I got it. I try to remember which ones I was on, so... Max. Okay, Max, you're gonna grow up in a world that is loaded with cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, I'll, uh, you're probably going to get a tour of the area which you won't be staying at, ironically, because I do need to put up a few things that are rather important, like this rather awe-inspiring ancient clock. Uh, but this also gives me an interesting ponderance right now. So every time you face Anu, you have to, oh. Well, that was just grab the first thing I had and shoot. <laughs> um, I was gonna say, how long are you gonna stay up there, Grass Block? Because that was a little epic, actually. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. So I was gonna say, so you can reface Anu, and every time you defeat him, one of your rewards is gonna be the ancient key. But if you don't click on his body fast enough to go to like that pocket, dim uh, that pocket dimension that has your way of getting your reward with it, and you wind up with an extra ancient key. Which I do have, because I still have the first one. Because that's kind of what happened. I could not grab the body in time. And I have fulfilled I have fulfilled your mission, uh, Jazahar. We're good. Uh, and uh, if you need an offering of a, a piece of a time machine, I, I might decide to do so, because I was kind of in it for... Uh, in for the win, and, and just the conclusion of that quest, more than anything. Uh, although, I do have one more biofossil. I have one shot. I have one shot to do this. After having 32 plus previous shots, this is my one shot to do it on camera. Um, <laughs> unless, of course, I can check over there and see if I got more biofossils. Because I really want a packy. I really, really want a packy. Bone meal! Okay, uh, oops. How did I hit myself that hard from... What? How am I power jumping? That was weird. Um, I don't remember that being on, on the stuff. Um, okay, uh... Slight mystery, but not one that I can't otherwise solve. Uh, yeah. I'll just have myself a, a wrong wrong bag. I'll just have myself uh, a blueberry or so, and uh, check on seeing if I have any more fossils, because the good news is, after all that, I, I do have my chunk loader still going. Aha! 
Okay, okay, one one more shot to do this on camera. I mean, off camera would have been fine, but there's something about on camera that says yes, you know? <laughs> so, please, give me my packy. I've got a kid watching, <laughs> you know? Don't, don't kids just love dinosaurs usually? Aw, you disappointed my kid. Ah, uh, Analyzer. Sometimes you just want to be a douche. <laughs> so, just just letting you know you're being a douche in front of a kid. That, that, that's really, really rude. Okay. So I guess that'll be it for now. I, I've done everything that I can on that end. I will have other... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Morph does odd things here. Ah... Uh. Okay. Anyhow, as I was saying, I do have some other projects I'll be working on to do a few really big things remaining in Crazy Minecraft. Uh, including some things that's rather unexpected, and yes, all those statues of the Anubites I, I got from fighting, uh, fighting them earlier. I just decided they looked really cool there. So, remember, those are statues, not the mobs. They will not uh, animate and attack me. They, they're just trophies. Anyhow, uh... I do have some other projects I'll be using to do some really big things later, uh, big final moments. Hopefully I'll be able to do those uh, big events fairly soon, but we'll see. For now, this has been Glitch Reaper. I'll be logging off. Hope to hear from you all later, and bye for now, everybody.